hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x plus x multiplied by x is equals to 810 and we solve this problem for the values of x so here we find all the roots of this equation uh, and now at the end of this question i can give you an assignment question which is uh, related to this problem so that first you can uh, uh, first you can focus on the solution of this problem and at the last you can uh, solve the assignment which I can uh, give you okay uh, so now the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to uh, rewrite this equation as you see here uh, if x if any number is multiplied by three times we write it as in the form of x cubed and plus here you see that x is multiplied by two times we write it as x square and this whole equation is equals to 810 so uh, we write 810 as in the form of uh, prime factors or into the form of cube and square so that now first we focus on 810 uh, we can copy down 810 here uh, we write 810 is equals to 81 multiplied by 10 we know we know that 81 times of 10 becomes 810 and we again break this value and uh, you see here 81 is equals to 9 square multiplied by we write this 10 as 9 plus 1 and now further in the next step we multiply this 9 square on both of these values and it will be written as 9 square multiplied by 9 plus 9 square multiplied by 1. So you see here uh, 810 is equals to 9 square multiplied by 9 equals to 9 cubed. 9 square multiplied by 1 equals to 9 square. So we replace this 810 is equals to 9 cubed plus 9 square so uh, our given equation is written as in this form so first you have x cubed plus x square is equals to uh, 810 and we replace 810 is equals to 9 cubed plus 9 square so that uh, here we need uh, some simplifications here so we move the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as x cubed plus x square we write this term as minus 9 cubed and this will be written as minus 9 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we make uh, the pair of cubic terms with cubic terms so we have x cubed minus 9 cubed and we make the uh, pair of square term with square term so here you have x square minus 9 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we apply uh, the cubic formula you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and here in the second factor we apply the square formula and you know that a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we move uh, we focus in the first factor here so in the first factor we apply the cubic formula so uh, after applying the cubic formula this will be written as x minus 9 times of uh, x square plus x into 9 and plus 9 square and plus here we can apply the this formula the second formula on this factor and after applying this formula this will be written as x minus 9 times of x plus 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here uh, from both of these terms we have x minus 9 be the common term so we take common x minus 9 and we get the remaining values are here we get x square plus this is 9x plus this 9 square equals to 81 and plus when you take common this x minus 9 we get here x plus 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step 
uh, here uh, we need little bit simplifications here so we add or subtract the light terms we have x square plus 9x plus x becomes 10x and 81 plus 9 becomes 90 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we again divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 9 equals to 0 the second case is we write x square plus 10x plus 90 equals to 0 so first we focus in the first case and in the first case we easily get the value of x is equals to 9 so this is the first real solution of the given problem and now in order to find the other solutions we solve this quadratic equation so in order to solve this quadratic equation, uh, first we write uh, uh, the uh, coefficients of this equation because we solve this uh, quadratic equation by applying the quadratic formula. So uh, its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 10 and c equals to 90 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we put the values of uh, a b and c here and we have the value of b is 10 when we put it here it will becomes minus 10 plus minus square root of 10 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 90 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to minus 10 plus minus uh, square root of the, here you have 10 square and 10 square equals to 100 minus this is 4 times of 90 we have 4 zeros are 0 and 4 nines are 36 and it is divided by 2 so uh, here when we subtract these two values it will be written as x is equals to minus 10 plus minus square root of 100 minus 360 is equals to minus 260 and it is divided by 2 so here we break uh, this value and uh, here when you can apply uh, the square root on negative term uh, so it will becomes here iota so it will be written as a square root of here you have 260 we uh, write 260 as 65 times of 4 and we can apply square root on negative term it is square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so uh, we have x is equals to minus 10 plus minus we know that a square root of 4 is equals to 2 into square root of 65 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and we break this fraction and we can apply two separately on both of these values in this form so you see here this is 2 5 is a 10 and we get here our x is equals to minus 5 plus minus these two and these two are gone and we get square root of 65 into iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation uh, so finally we have the three root these are the two complex roots and x is equals to 9 and be the one real root of the given equation so at the last uh, we will give you an assignment uh, which is related to uh, this problem and first you can understand uh, this solution and after that you can solve this problem this assignment question and you can just write your solution or answer into the comment section so that uh, the assignment question is that uh, you can solve x multiplied by x minus x times of x times of x is equals to 810 so here i can just little bit change the statement so you can solve this problem for the for all the values of x so i hope so uh, you understand uh, this method and uh, you can also you can apply this method to this problem and you can give you the solution or answer of this question into the comment section thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos